Hello everyone and welcome you again on this channel. I am CSCS Yogita Harani and in this video we are going to discuss how you can properly complete your online lectures or pen drive lectures. See when you take online classes or pen drive classes uh, it is very difficult to stay disciplined and to stay focused to avoid distraction while completing all of those online lectures. Sometimes we feel like studying, sometimes we don't feel like studying. So sometimes we properly complete our four to five hours lectures, sometimes we don't. How can you create the discipline to complete those lectures on time? That we are going to discuss in this video. This particular video is based on one of the comments that I received. There are more such videos coming based on the request that you have given me in the comment section below. If you have more such questions, please let me know in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon for notifications now let's get started with this video some of you guys might have taken live classes uh, or physical classes wherein the faculty is actually present some of you guys might have taken certain online classes or pen drive lectures the benefit of going in a live class or a physical class is that the faculty is actually present they're coming every single day on a fixed time if you're not present on that day, then you will most likely just miss the class. With live classes, there is also regularity that is maintained every single day or every alternate day. You have the class and you have to attend it. If the faculty is in front of you, they're looking at you, then they will also concentrate on you. They will make sure that you're no, not looking left or right, that you're not distracted, that you're not sleepy. But that doesn't really happen with online classes. You are all by yourself. You have to take care that you are not distracted. You're not looking here and there and you're fully focused that's your duty because there's nobody looking after you what ends up happening is that you pause the lecture and then you maybe take a little bit of break you start watching something on instagram or something on netflix or something on youtube and then you end up wasting one hour or two hour so this one hour lecture ends up getting completed in three to four hours so how you should approach these pen drive lectures and online classes so you have to treat them like live lectures or like physical classes that's how you will be able to take the most advantage of these online lectures so the first step is that you should have a plan to complete these lectures generally whenever you're sitting in the examination ca or cs examination at least three months prior to the examination you should have completed all of your coaching the last three to four months you should properly dedicate to self-studying see self-studying is extremely extremely important people can completely pass based on self-study if you only take coaching and you sit in the examination and you expect that you're gonna pass then that is difficult just based on coaching just based on your coaching it is difficult to pass however with coaching if you put self-study or even just with self-study you definitely can pass so before your examination at least uh, three to four months you should dedicate to self-study so accordingly you should try to complete your coaching at least three months prior to the date when you have your examination right so if you have your examination in november 2021 then you should complete your coaching at least till july so you should have that end goal in mind you should have that date or that month by which you want to complete all your coaching so how do you prepare a schedule or a plan to complete your coaching so the first thing you need is based on your entire study plan for your examination based on that you please come up with one figure as to how much time you have to complete that coaching right it can be one month Maybe you are in a hurry and you want to complete the entire coaching in 20 days for a subject or maybe you have like four subjects coaching that you have taken and you want to try to complete all of that in maybe four months. So you should know basically how many months or how many days you have to complete the coaching. That's first thing that you need to know. The second thing is what is the duration of the course? Please check that. If you're taking for example my course which is corporate and other laws uh, for CA inter students from Indigo Learn then the course duration is 100 hours right. So if you're taking any other coaching, then also in the description, you will know how many hours coaching it is, right? So you have to total up the total number of hours of coaching that you have to complete in a specified time period. The next thing is that you have to fix the number of days that you are going to sit down and complete the coaching in a week, right? So you can probably sit down six days a week or even seven days a week. For some students, uh, every single day doing the same one subject again and again and again, uh, taking that coaching can get a little boring. So what you can do is you can mix up the subjects. Uh, for one day, you can take a theory subject lecture and for another day, you can take a practical subject. So you can decide that for corporate and other laws, you're going to sit on Monday 
Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays, right? For accounts or costing, maybe you're going to sit on the other days, the remaining uh, alternate days, which is Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. For some students, what you can also do is maybe you can take up two subjects in a day, right? In the morning time, you can sit down and study corporate and other laws through online lectures. And in the evening, you can do uh, accounts lectures, costing lectures, whatever works for you. So once you have decided all of that, accordingly, we are going to create a plan. So let's just say you are taking corporate and other laws subject. That's the only coaching you have taken. It's of 100 hours from Indigo Learn. Uh, now you want to complete it in, let's say, one month. So it's a 100 hour course and you have one month to complete. That means 30 days you have. So roughly every single day, you will need three to four hours to complete the coaching right so what you can decide is that every single week for six days you will sit down from Monday to Saturday uh, for let's say four hours uh, to complete this course now if you have long hours of coaching you can also put some 15 minute break in between so maybe you're gonna study for two hours then take a 15 minutes break and then study again for two hours right so you'll have to figure that out for yourself so like this you can create a plan you can also study continuously for 10 days and then maybe take a break when you actually desperately need it now, when you create such a plan for yourself, there are certain things that you should remember. The first thing is that uh, if it's long lecture, then keep breaks as we have just discussed. Second thing is you already know your schedules and your duties, right? So based on that, please take out certain time when you can actually sit down uh, in a proper quiet space and complete your study. So it may be possible that for you, it is early in the morning, right? So in that case, please fix a time period. That means from 5 a.m. onwards, immediately you're going to sit down down every single day and study till maybe 9 a.m right or if you uh, think that nights are easy for you to study then you can fix a certain time at night as well right maybe at uh, 8 you can start and you can uh, continue studying till 12 it may also be possible that you just have like four hours pair in the entire day so two hours in the morning and two hours at night you study but what i'm trying to say here is that fix an exact time or a time frame within which every single day you will study based on your current routine another thing that you have to remember here when you're making a plan is that keep some time for revision every single day that revision is really really important and you need to keep some time every single day for revising whatever subjects whatever topics you have learned from coaching uh, now the next step the second step which is extremely crucial to create a discipline is to create a plan sheet so what do i mean by a plan sheet so you have already created a rough plan in step one as we just discussed now please write that plan down in the form of a sheet wherein you can actually put tick marks every single day for completing the coaching for every single day right what do i mean so let's say you have taken a sheet on that sheet write month of march or april whatever month it is and then you write what are your goals so your goal is to complete corporate and other laws coaching and maybe along with it you also want to complete accounts coaching so you write that down and then after that uh, you draw first column in which you write down all the dates so you have first march second march third march onwards till 31st of march then you draw another column in another column you write down the number of hours of coaching that you have to take so let's say you have written on top of the column uh, four hours coaching okay then you draw the third column in which you write topics completed and then the fourth column then that which is hours left say on first march you complete that coaching what are you going to do in that sheet of paper in front of first march you will put a tick mark because you have completed the four hours coaching for first of march right uh, then after that you will also write down the topic that you have completed that day in coaching and then after that how many hours are remaining that you have to write so the total course is of 100 hours you have completed four hours of lecture so that means how many hours are left you have 96 hours left so you're going to write that down in the last column every single day if you put a tick mark whenever you have completed the coaching you'll feel a small sense of accomplishment it's a very small thing but uh, it really has a big impact every single day putting a tick mark and then every single day seeing the number of tick marks that you have already put it gives you that confidence that you have been doing good in the past and you can do better in future. Similarly, if let's say one day you don't do the coaching and you miss out the class and you have to put a cross over there, you uh, start feeling bad about it, you feel a little guilty uh, that you missed out on one day of class, then in that case what happens is that next day you try to overcompensate and you try to complete that. Whenever you prepare this sheet of paper, make sure that you stick it in a place where you can see it daily. So maybe if you have a study table or a study spot, then there you 
you can stick that piece of paper and every single day when you complete that four hours or three hours of coaching you can put a tick mark you can write the topics that you've completed and the number of hours that are remaining okay and that way you can basically keep track of whether you're completing the coaching on time or not and you can be accountable to your own self the next thing is whether you should be taking notes while you are taking those online pen drive lectures or whether you should create notes later on. The key thing is that when you're taking online lectures or pen drive lectures, treat them like live lectures or physical classes. So when you're in a physical class, uh, when the teacher is teaching you, you have a notepad in front of you and you have a pen and you write down all the important topics and the important points. If you have to solve the question, you also solve the questions with the teacher. So that is exactly what you have to do here as well. So when you're taking online classes or pen drive classes, you should have a notebook in front of you and you should have the pen and all the important points uh, that you think the teacher is teaching you you should write them down alongside immediately when you're taking that class right what else you can do is when you're taking these notes down every single day when you sit down please mention the lecture number that you're seeing and also the date of taking that lecture that way you will uh, be consistent you will know which dates you are actually studying you're completing the course plus you also every single day know the topics and the video names and the lecture numbers or the lecture names uh, in which those topics are covered so it will keep you on track while you're taking online class whatever notes you have written down after that probably you can leave a few pages now in these few pages later on when you revise this chapter, when you revise these notes, if you have something to add, you can later on add those things in those remaining pages. Another thing that you can do is maybe you can create a separate notebook for your uh, classroom. So for your online classes, you can have a separate notebook in which you're jotting down the notes that you have understood in class. Whereas you can create a separate notebook all together for your own personalized notes. This is another thing that you can do. The key thing is that when you're taking the class, please write down these key notes in a separate book because note taking really helps a lot in understanding the concepts properly and also in retaining the concepts really well. So you are going to do yourself a favor if you actually write down these notes. The next doubt that students have is whether we should revise those concepts while we are studying from the online coaching or whether we should revise these concepts later on. Uh, every single topic that you are studying from these online classes, some students revise it immediately soon after studying studying that concept they revise it immediately from the main book but that's not something I would recommend uh, again I would recommend that you please treat it like a live class like a physical class so that means for, for complete two hours or for complete four hours you properly complete your entire lecture you jot down the key important points in your notebook then later on in that day itself you spare one hour period or maybe half an hour period in that one hour period or half an hour period what you can do is you can revise every single topic and concept that was covered in the online lecture that you studied in that day right so every single day keep one hour spare in that one hour spare time revise whatever concepts you have completed in your online or pen drive class in that day revision of that concept that same day sitting down by yourself and doing that one hour of revision it is difficult but trust me it is going to make a huge 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 difference in your performance in your retention in your understanding and overall in your result so how do you have to do this revision? What all things you have to study? What you have to do is basically read through all of these notes that you have created. And then after that, you must be having some study material or some reference book that you are going to use for that subject. Take that reference book or notes out and then um, from those notes, read those concepts properly. So if it's a theory uh, subject, then each of the paragraphs that are there in the study material or maybe in the reference book that you're using, please read them properly, underline the key things. If suppose this is a practical subject, then you must have received some sort of homework in the class uh, or maybe you have solved some of the questions. What you have to do later on is solve all all of those questions again if you have a homework then complete those homework questions so if for costing there is a certain topic that has been completed by the faculty or in your online lectures then later on in one hour revision period that same topic you have to see from your study material or your reference book and all the other questions that are there for that particular topic you have to try and completely solve those you don't have to take the pressure of memorizing anything you don't have to remember anything okay it might sound weird to you but Please don't try to memorize anything or remember anything at this stage 
uh, every single day only uh, criteria should be that you should understand all the concepts properly you should properly able be able to analyze those concepts right you should grasp those concepts and have a proper clarity on those concepts that is your only objective at this time later on as we are going to revise these multiple times uh, you will get the retention you will be able to remember these concepts later on based on revisions that you do at this time you don't have to take the pressure of remembering everything you just have to understand the concepts next question is whether you should study from the pdf notes that are provided or whether you should have an actual physical book well i would personally suggest that you have an actual book right now this could be your study material or it could be some other reference book or if suppose the coaching institute has provided you with certain pdf notes you can get that soft copy notes printed down so you will have those printed notes with you in hand it's easy to underline it's easy to highlight it's easy to read it's very handy right so you can carry your book anywhere around you do not need electricity or laptop whenever you need even in the middle of the night or anywhere you just want uh, you can take out those books and you can check out those concepts you can read them it is easier to remember those concepts also when you're underlining and you're writing additional notes on the site it is easier to edit as well editing pdf notes or online notes is slightly difficult the next important tip is to have your own zone out space you should have a fixed sacred quiet place where every single day you're going to sit down with your books and your laptop and you're going to complete these online classes right so you should have a proper sacred study space right so create that study space for yourself it should be same every single day it should be quiet right nobody should be able to disturb you right so you should tell your family members not to disturb you when you're studying when you're in your zoned out space and you're actually taking your online classes or you're studying it should be a place where no phones are allowed no whatsapp is allowed no instagram telegram or any other uh, kind of social media platform is allowed so in this space whenever you sit down you completely focus away from all the distractions away from all the people away from all the other stresses of life and you completely dedicate yourself to studying what is going to happen with this is that you will set a routine in your mind you will associate that space with concentration focus dedication and your own goal right so if every single day you come back to the same space and you try to study it is going to get easier and easier for you to focus as soon as you are going to sit down in that space of yours you will be able to quickly get to a concentration zoned out mode the next important tip is to avoid the pause button or rewinding the lectures right when you're taking online lectures and pen drive classes what we tend to do is we click the pause button a lot and when we pause that button because we're distracted we're somewhere else we open instagram or we open some other social media platform or we go somewhere and talk to some person and then we end up wasting hours and hours one hour course gets extended and stretched to three hours of lecture right we don't want that we have to avoid that therefore please treat online classes or pendrive classes also just like live classes or actual physical class just like how in live classes you don't have the option to pause the actual faculty right similarly here also please avoid using pause button many students they watch the lecture originally at 1.5 speed or 1.75 or 2 speed right see if you're able to cope with that kind of speed and maintain the kind of focus without pausing without rewinding well and good but otherwise if you think uh, watching at such a heavy speed and uh, again and again pausing the lecture again and again going back and revising the concepts it's taking too much time then please take a decision of watching it at a normal speed watch at a normal speed of one or maybe 1.25 such that you're able to see the whole lecture in one go and you don't have to pause it or you don't have to rewind it try to build the habit of sitting for good two two and a half hours and watching the lecture with full concentration so those were all the additional tips and tricks i had with respect to these online classes and i hope uh, this video was helpful if you need any more tips and tricks you can let me know in the comment section below i love reading your comments i love hearting them and i love replying to your queries i'll see you again in another video make sure that you subscribe to this channel make sure that you hit that bell notification button uh, so that you get notified every time i upload a video like this video share it with your friends and i'll see you again in another video so bye bye and see you.